Claude Monet was an Impressionist artist. Impressionist artists work to paint pictures of places and moments in time using small brush strokes and lots of color. Claude Monet loved to paint the water lily pond that he studied in Paris. Today we are going to be painting our own water lily pond just like an Impressionist. Start out by writing your name and class code on the back of your paper. We will then start a technique like Impressionist artists do where we touch into different colors of paint and don't overbrush it and we work very quickly and let our brush dance over our paper so that we can see different shades of blue and green in our water lily pond by mixing different colors in on our paper. So right now I touch into my blue with my brush and I touch into my white. I don't stir them up, but when I touch into both of those colors and I start to brush it and have my paintbrush dance across my paper, those colors mix and I get lighter and darker shades of blue with every different stroke that I make. I try not to go over top of what I've already painted too much because then the colors will mix too much and you won't see my beautiful brush strokes that I am making. So I continue to touch into different colors of paint, never just one. Usually I touch into white and blue, sometimes adding a little bit of green or teal to make my water that my water lilies will be sitting on. Continue to fill your entire paper, letting your paintbrush dance all over and fill it with different shades of blues and greens, touching into the paint whenever your brush is dry. My favorite color to touch into is white because that shows that the sun is shining on my water. You can even touch into yellow and remember that when yellow mixes with blue, you'll still get a little bit of a green tone. It's great to have darker areas of blue and lighter areas of blue to fill your pond with color. Most of my lines are horizontal lines, but you can also make vertical lines to show some different plants growing in and around your water. So I start to make some vertical touches of lines with mostly green and maybe some blue to show that there are plants growing in my water where the water lilies are. Then I'm going to get a lot of dark blue and green paint on my brush to make my water lily pads. These are going to be big oval shapes um, that I use a lot of paint on Don't uh, and let that paint set on top of the other paint underneath it. The next step will then be to get a clean brush and just dab or touch the white onto the water lily pad to make a water lily flower. Um, make sure that you use lots of white paint and don't brush too much. Again, let the white paint just kind of set on top of the water lily pad. Once you add your plants growing vertical in the water, your water lily pads and your flowers, you can go and add smaller brush strokes in different places where you might want highlights or shadows. I even add some yellow into my flowers and I outline my lily pads with a yellow um, to make them stick out so that they are easier to see. And that is how we create an impressionist water lily painting inspired by the artist and painter Claude Monet.